We're expecting those quiet conditions right on into the night. Look at those temperatures coming down into the 50s, lower 50s, but will quickly warm on up and we're going for the middle 80s during the afternoon. Could see some late day clouds and possibly a stray shower during the evening hours. Could have a little early morning activity out there on Sunday, but notice how Future Max here not bringing us a whole lot of rain as we advance through the morning and then into the afternoon. It's more so later in the day and it could be after three, four o'clock. That's when we start to see some of those storms begin to move on in and there's that chance that we could be dealing with severe weather and right now. Half of the area is under a slight risk and the main threat is going to be that potential for some strong wind gusts and even isolated hail. Tornadoes do not look very likely at all. The wind flow overall certainly does not support them. That is good news for us tonight. We are cool and very pleasant overall with those temperatures into the 50s. And as we look ahead to your Saturday again, we'll have a lot of heat, but the humidity will start to creep up a bit more because we've got more of a southerly wind. So that 86 may feel more like 88 degrees as we get into the afternoon. Your forecast looking ahead. We've got some of those storms again, some rain maybe during the early morning hours on Sunday and then storms later on in the day. Monday into Tuesday looks fairly dry, very comfortable. Once again, these cold fronts we don't often see them a whole lot this time of year, and if we do, they don't bring us a whole lot of cool air, but we've been dealing more and more with them as of late. Now, as we get into your Wednesday and Thursday, another chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with those highs in the middle 80s. So we're certainly looking at chances for rain that will be beneficial for us, but we do have that severe weather threat on Sunday.